Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BTD and yes, we are back with another new story coming for the GTA 5 community. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So this video is all based around an article, or should I say more of an interview, that Zelnik um, came out with. He's the boss at Rockstar. Uh, he came out with this article, this interview, if you want to call it that, from GTA Online. And there's a few little things I wanted to address in here which could mean a lot of things to a lot of people so let's have a look so in this article i will leave it down in the description if you guys want to go read the full official thing yourself i'm just going to pick out some of the key elements which i found most interesting and more informal to you guys so he said the gta that the gta online community has a huge audience of players playing gta online with more players online and playing in december of 2017 was actually mad seeing as gta 5 and the online i guess really started in 2013 so that's gone at least a good amount of years and players are still playing it now and the massive amount of numbers in 2017 still means it's a really really popular game zelnik then also goes on to say the number of players is significant enough for rockstar to continue producing massive new expansions for gta online so this pretty much confirms this is straight from the horse's mouth if you want to call it that that Rockstar are intending to make a lot more expansions on GTA 5 Online. Now, what does this mean? Are we going to have um, maybe like a family DLC, things like that? You know, something to really spice up the online. Because I feel like the minute, yes, the After Hours was um, is amazing. It's really, really good. Um, but I feel we're still missing this. This one thing we're still missing from GTA Online. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to put my finger on it, but... It's something, guys. And if you know what I'm talking about, why don't you leave down in the description of what your thoughts are. I'm always open to hearing what you guys got to say. But the last bit, he says, the After Hours update is far from the last. There's plenty more to come. So that just confirms the last statements that we saw, meaning that Rockstar are not done completely with GTA Online, which also means, coming back from a video I've done in the past, GTA 6 is definitely a long way off. I can I can guarantee that now, seeing as they put in a lot more time and effort into GTA Online for G GTA 5. We could still be waiting a long time for GTA 6, but I'm not complaining. As long as more updates coming for GTA Online, uh, I'm, I'm happy. That's all i got to say. Um, I'll be playing a lot more GTA Online, hopefully getting some streams out soon. Uh, if you guys want to play with that, we can do that. You know, because I, I sort of feel like now... Uh, to me, Fortnite is dying, so you probably won't be seeing too many Fortnite updates, updates, uh, videos from me. But yeah, I'm really enjoying GTA at the minute. I'm going to continue making these type of videos for GTA Online and GTA 5 itself, and anything to do with Rockstar. I know the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer is coming out tomorrow, so I will be covering that hopefully and getting that out for your faces. I know this is a bit of a late upload for some people, but yeah, I just wanted to get this video out, guys. So I thought it was very, very uh, informative and important to share with you guys. But yeah. That's been it today, guys. I know I've been rambling a bit towards the end, but yeah, that's me, guys. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so if you guys want to see any more GTA content, why not hit that subscribe button, leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video, and leave down in the comments what you think is next for GTA Online. But guys, that's the end of the video, guys. If you have enjoyed, do all you got to do. But until next time, guys, I'll see you guys then. Peace.